Hey everybody, back again with part two for the MaxJet uh, SR71 build. Um, as you can see, I put in the motors here. Um, don't mind the blue paint here. My son got a little bit of blue paint on that. Uh, but what I did is I, uh, I, I put the motors in, used a little bit of epoxy down in here. And uh, this, this wire kind of runs really weird. Um, I'm not sure why they designed it like this, but uh, if you put it up and over, then uh, the this part will interfere, the cover will interfere, and it won't close all the way. So you got to kind of do it behind the motor, but then you don't want it touching the actual part of the motor that rotates for the outrunner. So I kind of taped it down over here, put some black tape in. It looks like I need to secure it just a little bit better here. Um, that'll also make it look a little bit better. Uh, did the same thing over on this side. The next step is to take the two ESCs. I'm going to cut off these ends and extend the wire and then put only one end on it so that uh, uh, they both run off, both motors run off of one battery pack. Now one thing I did notice is even with the uh, extension wires here, um, we may come up a little bit short. I may have to add another extension on these. Hopefully not. Um, I taped uh, where the extension one, uh, you can't see it here, but uh, where these connect to the extension, I tape them together just so that they're not coming off in flight. So I'm going to try to make this, uh, this section a little bit shorter than I did the last one, a little bit less dry, hopefully, not quite as boring. So uh, I'll be back with some more pictures and show you uh, the ESCs in place and stuff, and then we'll finish the setup on it. Okay, I got the ESCs all mounted up, and uh, I, as you can see, they're a little bit forward of where they should be, but... Um, and it puts them about an inch or so forward, but that shouldn't affect the CG too much. They're fairly lightweight, so I'll, I'll double check the CG and make sure we're on. And um, the wires, I just went uh, the two red in, down into one red and the two black into one black, and then uh, resoldered the connector back on. I just soldered these together. Uh, I suppose you could do connectors and stuff. I just soldered them together and taped it all up, just to make sure that uh, no bare connections are touching. And as far as um, as these are concerned, the uh, the wires that plug into your receiver, um, I said that they were a little bit short. Uh, actually, they don't look like they're going to be short because uh, where the receiver goes is right there. And also, I forgot, there's Y connectors for those because you're going to Y those two um, ESCs up. And then the servos, I'm not sure if I'm going to Y those up, um, put those on Y harness, or just do separate channels and just do the uh, mixing on the radio. I haven't decided yet. So we'll take a look at that. So I'll get that together. And then um, I'm going to start working on the landing gear. Put in the servos for those. And hook the landing gear up. And uh, then we'll go from there and take a look and see how we're going. So there's the servo mounted down in there. Um, I just used a little glue to stick it down. It did have screw holes so if you wanted to do it that way. Now, I wasn't sure how to um, run the the uh, the cable through to get back to where the uh, uh, receiver is so there's no place to go through here really so what I did is I came up through here as you can see it goes in right there and then back down through here and I think the canopy will cover this part the canopy is dark and with just a couple of windows so I don't think that that will be seen then brought it back through here and uh, an extension cable uh, take this up a little bit so that it's not coming loose the extension cable and then it comes out on this end. And that should be long enough to reach the receiver, hopefully. So I'm um, going to mount this uh, the landing gear up shortly here and then I'll show you that all together. And then uh, we're going to try uh, finishing this plane off for you. So this is going to be the last part of uh, part two here. Um, and I just wanted to show you a few things. I got a little bit farther along here, put the wheels on, and uh, the rear tracks are in place. I haven't put this cover on yet, but I will do that. Uh, I do have the, uh, the servo all installed on that and stuff. Um, I just wanted to show uh, the instructions on this really aren't good at all, um, unfortunately. Uh, but uh, fortunately, it's really not that hard to, to figure out how it goes together. But there does have to be a few things tweaked in here and there. Um, before you put the uh, the landing gear in place, uh, before you put these screws in, put these shafts in first. There's a use a um, Allen head screw. It's on this side here. On this one, it's on this side here for this one. And what I did is I put these down in. It just makes it easier to screw these into position first, and then I put a little bit of epoxy around it before dropping them down in like that. 
And then um, on the nose gear, um, same thing. Uh, it's easier to put uh, this on with the uh, control horn, the push rod in here before you screw this down into position. Now one thing I should also note here is uh, the servo that goes into position to uh, turn the, the landing gear, the front nose gear, steerable nose gear. Um, you, it's meant to fit a, uh, a nine gram servo. This servo was really, really tight, really tight. Um, I was finally able to get it in, but I had to shave off the end tabs here. And when I did that, I kind of opened it up, but I think it'll be okay. I'm going to put a little bit of extra glue around here. So um, basically, the the thing as a whole, I'm beginning to uh, see the end here, see the light at the end of the tunnel. So um, the next time you see this, I'll have it all together, and we'll be doing a test flight with it. I'll go over with uh, the last few things, anything else that I find between here and there. But basically, it's just putting the big pieces together. I'm going to put this, uh, this panel on and get these gears hooked up run all the cable into um, proper position, glue this into position, and then um, just got to simply glue the, uh, the canopy into position here. And uh, do have a couple of uh, pilot heads that go uh, in there, so that looks kind of cool. Um, there's not a whole lot of window to see them, so you really have to look to see them anyway, so it really doesn't matter if they're in there or not. So anyways, that wraps it up for part two of this build, and uh, part three will be the test flight, and I'll, uh, I'll show you anything else that I come across on this. But uh, so far, it's been fairly easy, but time-consuming. It's taken me probably in the neighborhood of three to four hours now to put this together over the course of a couple days. So... Um, it's not a beginner kit to put together. The instructions, you know, they just show a few more pictures. I'm hoping, a few pictures, I'm hoping that I've explained more than what you'll get from these pictures here that they give. So, uh, if you have any questions or anything, shoot me an email. Uh, actually, just shoot me a, a message and I'll get it um, here on YouTube. And uh, I'll be happy to respond with uh, whatever I can.